it's a bump around 1K. Now, to me, just as a, to me, 1K is not a pleasant sound, yeah. you know? So it's just a personal preference. I know a lot of people use that mic and they use it, success, use it successfully. Uh, however, it's not a pleasant sound to my ear. So I prefer mm. the TLM 103 over that because I know at 3.5, 3.0 or 3.1, you know, that's a pleasant frequency where the voice starts to come alive. Whereas 1K is just a little squawky sounding to me. So, you know, just like anything else, there's also some, you know, some subjectivity by the listener as well. Yeah, absolutely. And and funnily enough, you were saying about the shotgun mics earlier, the 416, I just can't get on with them. If I'm perfectly honest, it just doesn't work for my voice. There's something about the range of my voice. I think it's fine. You know, it would totally do the job. But um, in ter- if I had the choice between a large diaphragm condenser and a shotgun, I would always go for the LDC. Um, but that's just unique to my space, my voice. Um, so I'd like to move on now real quick um, to mic technique. So I'd like to talk a little bit about that because it makes a huge difference to the end product. So Emmett, why don't we just talk a little bit now about that and what you can do to optimize your sound with technique? Um, I've, I'll start with a little story. I was working with a guy uh, maybe a decade ago. It's been a while. Um, but he was using a, a Neumann TLM 103. Yeah. And uh, it, we, we tweaked it. We got the settings dialed in pretty well. And uh, and his promo came on TV and it aired during the Super Bowl. And just compared to everything around him, he sounded very small. And he had also done a lot of stuff for uh, a bunch of network promos, and they were kind of coming out the same way. Um, but he had done a whole series of those and was continuously doing them. So we could tweak actually based on what we were hearing come across TV week to week <laughs> and, and make our adjustments that way. That's great. And it, it turned out to be, it wasn't a settings issue at all. He was a, a radio guy and he had that thing right in front of his mouth and was just talking straight into the diaphragm. And it, it just laid there. And when we gave it about you know five, six inches of space and kind of lifted it above his head a little bit, pointing down towards him, it came alive. He, he sounded yeah. worlds better. And so that's just an example of, of placement and, and working with the mic, how important that is and how much of a difference it can make. Now, uh, if you don't like the sound, it may not be that you, that there's a problem with the mic or a problem with, with you. It's a problem between, uh, with the space between you. Um, mm. and so it's really, really important to, you know, sit down and take the time to try different positions and see how things come across. 